After Safety Watch, now is the time to start preparing for wildfires and flash flooding. So community meetings being held around Colorado Springs to make sure you are prepared to keep you and your family safe. News 5's Katie Blaze live from the Mountain Shadows neighborhood tonight with details. Katie. Now, well, this is just one area that was devastated by the 2012 Waldo Canyon fire. Residents here who lived through this disaster and lost their homes tell me going to these community meetings and learning how to mitigate is essential. And you get tears in your eyes. You, you still get tears in your eyes because it affects you. It's been more than six years since the Waldo Canyon fire consumed Loretta Armstrong's home and so many others. But for her, it feels like it was just yesterday. We left a lot. We left a lot and we lost a lot. She tells me her mitigation efforts were pretty good before the fire, but she stepped up even more since rebuilding her new home. This was all logged. But now we don't have that anymore. We decided we want to put rocks because it's safer. And instead of wood, she now has a stucco home. I don't want to lose a house again. And she doesn't want anyone else to either. That's why she's encouraging people to attend community prep meetings in Colorado Springs. One was held Tuesday night at Holmes Middle School to educate the public on wildfires and flash flooding. Homeowners need to do the small things as simple as cleaning out gutters, keeping the grasses mowed, mowing down that native vegetation around the house. When it comes to flooding, knowing to avoid low-lying areas, flood-prone areas, and then also the the old uh, National Weather Service term, turn around, don't drown, really focusing on that. Preparing your home with sandbags might be an option, as well as using a sump pump. Bottom line, no matter what the disaster, know the risks, do your prep work, and have an evacuation plan ready to go. Now, if you weren't able to make it to tonight's meeting, there will be another one held on May 16th, and the details for that can be found on our website at KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Katie Blaze, News 5.